working with regression in Microsoft Excel on the Macintosh. In order to work with the regression on Microsoft Excel on the Macintosh, you need to download the proper software onto your machine. So you're going to want to go to the website analystsoft.com and when there, you're going to go to the software menu and select Stat Plus Mac LE. Now, Stat Plus Mac LE is a free version of the statistics package that is available, the data analysis tool pack, which is available on Excel for the PC, but for the Mac instead. When you download this package, when you, you're going to run it, and uh, when you run it, it's going to give you, it's going to give you a, a, a little, a file that you would unzip. And once it's unarchived and you run the installer inside, you'll see something that looks like this and you just copy stats plus onto your applications folder. And when stat plus runs, it'll just give you a menu that says stats plus, right? So it runs with Excel, but it runs from the outside of Excel. So here I have the data in Excel that I want to do a regression on. And when I click on the stats plus uh, application, I can go to statistics, pull down the regression, tell it do, I'm doing a linear regression, my dependent variable or my Y, I hit that little box, select what it is, go back to uh, stat plus, my independent variables or my X, I hit that little button, select the range of the, the column or columns uh, that have my dependent variables, click back on stack plus. My labels are in my first row because I started at row one. Um, there's other advanced options, you know, whether you do constant intercept is zero, which is something that you should have worked on in your uh, QBA class. Um, there's th other things that we can do with the preferences that we won't look at right here. And once you hit OK, you should see something akin to uh, what you're kind of used to seeing, but it's a little bit different. But, you know, you still have your R, you still have your R squared. Um, you still have, uh, here they call them p-levels instead of p-values. And you still have your coefficients um, of your intercept in your year. And that's the end of it.